This gentleman would like to talk to you. Now, you give me one excuse to bust your butt while you're still here, and you'll do ten on the taxpayer's money, punk. Got it? Oh, yes, sir, Sergeant Powell. I certainly do, sir. He's all yours. Honestly, sir, I really do appreciate this second chance you're going to give me to become a useful member of society. If I let you out of here, I do not want anyone coming around asking about your little fantasies. That is the deal. Fantasies? Oh, you mean like the one where you and the Knights of the Round Table were, uh... <laughs> right. Never saw a thing. Just, uh, made it all up. <laughs> I know. I'm fast. All my teachers said so. Fast, but lazy. My lips are sealed. Word of honor. <clears throat> Besides, who'd I tell, you know? Is there someone here? Someone with a long lifeline. Hi. Tessa, you've already met Connor McLeod. I am a friend of Duncan's from the old neighborhood. By my count, you look more like a pincushion. <laughs> you know Slan is mine. You sure you can handle him? 
Come on. No problem. That is mine. Protecting Tessa is my job. <laughs> Good to see you. You sure you wouldn't rather use a sword, Connor? I take it that uh, what you saw last night was no, no. Yes, as a matter of fact, it is quite new for Tessa. How long have you two known each other? Are you related? A clansman. When I was growing up, there was a legend in my clan about a, a strange man in my grandfather's time who was killed in battle and then miraculously revived. Everyone thought it was uh, witchcraft. I thought it was an old wives' tale. Until one day... I know. Someone killed you, but you didn't die. And then I found him. Um, well, you know, the way someone found me. Kind of taught me everything I needed to know to survive as an immortal. The rules. The tactics needed to win. As one someone taught me. Win what? Why does this slan person want Duncan? Please, don't say anything in front of the lady. Let me just go in the next room and crochet while you have cigars and brandy and talk about beheadings. I told Tessa some of it. I thought I was out of it. She didn't need to know all the rules. You're not out of it anymore. There can be only one. Remember that rule? One what? One of you? Only one immortal left in the end? Is that it? And what does the winner get? The last one? We'll have the power of all the immortals who ever lived. Enough power to rule this planet forever. If someone like Slan is that last one, mankind will suffer an eternity of darkness from which it will never recover. And you didn't think this was important enough to mention? There's nothing new. <laughs> it is for me. You can't stay out of the game, Duncan. You've tried before. Damn it, Connor! It had nothing to do with the game. And you know that. There's no Songs are told where her people came from. <laughs> How they lived, what they believed in. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You think we ever lived like this? Like a tribe? Together with a common language. A reason and a name for each living thing. Did we once belong somewhere? time, a place, however briefly.
Ten so? Hi, hon. Wanna see what I've been working on? I think the face could use a little work, don't you? Ah, ah. <laughs> not too close. Drop it. Drop it. You came for me. What some wags call me? Slam the cat! Because I like to play with my victims first. Ah, 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 ah! Don't spoil the fun. Be a good boy, and I'll leave her alive. This time, I want you to think about it now. I bet you're thinking about it right now, aren't you? Not off for now, kid. You want to talk? If I wanted to talk, I suppose I'd be talking. I'm an artist. I'm supposed to have this tremendous imagination. But who could imagine this? Mac, I want to leave. I think it's for the best, Tessa. Is that what you think? It's probably what I think. That I'm leaving you? Yes, it's what I think. You'd think in 400 years a person would learn how to listen. Well, that's what you said. I meant I want to leave, not you, but this place. Here. The two of us. That's what I meant. But maybe that's not what you wanted to hear. Let's go. We could be in Paris by tomorrow. You think you couldn't find us in Paris? Tessa, Slam won't give up. You'll have to leave. What? There's no way you could have known what this was going to be like. Well, I have an idea now. So, what has this been for you? This past dozen years. Was it like a summer fling? R and R? Sorry, darling. Back to the wars, you know. Damn you! Damn you gathering! Damn your whole race! I... I'm not your enemy, you know. No. An enemy could never hurt so much. 